Hi, Year 6, and welcome to your last ever home learning, learning journey video, or your last one for Year 6, fingers crossed. And um, today we're going to be thinking about our final piece of writing. So yesterday you would have all started your story, and as you remember, we spoke about doing our opening, our build-up, and our climax, and some of you may have even written on further. And now you're going to finish off your story today. You're going to end your story and you're going to write your resolution from your story mountain. Number four. And your ending, number five, down here. So you're going to want to write your resolution and your ending. And you're going to want to think about using your story mountain and using these things we, we looked at, just reminding ourselves of what our success criteria was going to be. We said that we're going to have to have five sections, which you will do now today when you finish. Adventurous vocabulary, precise verbs, five, the five senses, adverbials, some punctuation like parentheses or ellipses, and a range of different sentences. And then when we've finished, we're going to want to think about editing and drafting. So I want you to go away now, pause this video, and finish off writing your story. But that's not where I want, where I want you to finish. I then want you to come back to where you've paused and you're going to carry on and we're going to think about how we can edit and improve. Now you've finished, you want to think about proofreading. What do you need to be looking for when you're proofreading your writing? What are you going to be thinking about? So, well, number one, non-negotiables. You should not really, or every sentence should start with a capital letter and a full stop. Every name or noun should have a capital letter and you should be reading through your work checking for sense. So make sure everything makes sense. Then you want to think about punctuation. What punctuation have I used? Can I add any more higher level punctuation in and, and how can I improve that? So once you've read through for non-negotiables, you can then and sense. So you're going to do these first two things as number one. These are going to be your first things you're going to be looking for. Then you're going to read through. Afterwards, you're going to read your work again, looking at punctuation. So this should be the second time you read through your work. I'm just going to put a two next to it. And then finally, you want to be thinking about those writing features that are in our success criteria. And we often call those the writing devices. And that's really, you want to read through your work one, two, maybe three times, looking for something different each time. And to do that, then we're really, really checking it. And how should you be reading it? Well, you should always read out loud. Because actually, we only really sometimes notice our mistakes if we read our work out loud. And then what I want us to think about is just some of the following. We have a year six, I've made you a year six checklist. Spellings, words of the week. Has anyone put some of one of the spellings from our spelling list in their, their um, piece of writing? Paragraphing. Have you got paragraphs? Well, you should do because you have the five sections. Description. Have you used similes, metaphors, alliteration? Cohesive devices. And we're really, we're thinking about adverbials here. So not too much the other ones this time, but we are definitely thinking about adverbials. That range of punctuation we've just spoken about, and then some of these like writing devices, so verb tense or precise verbs, a range of expanded noun phrases, the different kinds of sentences, um, and all the above. And finally, this one here, which I'm going to underline, handwriting. You need to make sure that your handwriting is neat and legible. And if it isn't, then you're probably going to have to go back and write up a neat copy. So what you need to do today is you need to finish off, and now you need to proofread your work three times looking for the above checklist, as we can see here. Good luck, and please upload your final piece of writing to Class Dojo. And I can't wait to read it, can't wait to see what you've produced, and most of all, I can't wait to see you all next week. And it's going to be great to have you all back in school, and I know... Both Miss Pinderwhite and myself are really looking forward to having um, all the year six back in. So we can't wait to see you all next week. And remember to just upload this work and really look forward to seeing you. Good luck.